Hey everybody, Scott Luton with Supply Chain now here on the show floor at ProMat 2025 in beautiful Chicago. 50,000 people here this week, I tell you. And I'm meeting with one of those movers and shakers, Kate Peterson with Locust Robotics. Kate, how you doing? Good, how are you? Wonderful, great to see you. What an incredible booth. I got robots moving over here and behind me perhaps. And we're gonna learn a lot more about what Locust is up to. I wanna ask you this though first. Here in ProMat, all these people here, the center of the Supply Chain Universe at least this week, What's a couple things you're looking most forward to, Kate? Well, I think for me, ProMat, I come every year and Modex. Um, and the most exciting thing for me is to see all the new technology, um, see everything that everybody's been developing over the last year or so, a lot of product unveilings, a lot of new things that are coming out. So mostly excited about that on the product side. Okay. And on the personal side, I have a lot of friends in the industry. I've already run into a million people and that's always my absolute favorite part is Love seeing it. the people that I've seen, you know, three, four jobs ago, 10, 15 years in the industry. That's how it goes, right? Love it. Great supply chain happy hours is yeah. what I'm hearing. Awesome. Uh, all right. So Kate, um, again, lots, tons of people, 50,000 people this year. I think they're breaking records. Yeah. In your early conversations thus far, mm -hmm. any key themes emerging? Yeah, you know, that's a great question. I think that some of the key things that we're really hearing is labor, labor availability and cost. I think everybody's feeling that labor crunch right now. So a lot of uh, warehouse people are looking to eliminate weight labor. A lot of vendors are looking for ways to provide solutions that do that in an automated sense. That's what we're here to, to do today. Yeah. A lot of people are also looking for flexibility. There's a lot of changes in the environment from a real estate perspective, cost of facilities and types of facilities that people need to bring inventory in and out of. So things like that, that need to be able to scale and flex with the different needs of their environment. So those are two of the really big themes. Another third one is AI and how people are applying it. I know it's been a buzzword over the last couple of years, particularly the last 12 months as ChatGPT has really taken on a hold in the you know, public at large. So right. people are talking a lot about AI as well. Love it and, and how to operationalize it in a targeted manner, driving real outcomes, right? Absolutely. Um, okay, we could do a whole podcast series on your last response. We'll have to take a look at doing that. Absolutely. Two part question as it die, uh, down in a little bit more on Locust Robotics. Yeah. For the three people out there that may be new to your organization, tell us what you do. And I'm hearing lots of buzz around Locust Intelligence. Tell us more. Absolutely. So Locus Robotics is the leading AMR provider in the industry. We do flexible mobile automation. So you've seen some of our robots moving yes. around behind us. We have multiple robot forms that cover everything from, you know, 80 payload up to six over 600 pounds in payload. So all kinds of different products, all kinds of different facilities. We really optimize the facility. For Locus Intelligence, I mentioned AI. That's yeah. our answer to AI. Our whole Locus Intelligence is our AI platform that optimizes and drives the warehouse operations using AI and our learnings. That's everything from path planning of our robots through the warehouse okay. to pick optimization and work density to make sure that people are productive and accurate in their jobs. I love that um, because I, I bet it also drives real ROI with your customers as they bring your uh, robotics automation solutions on, huh? Huge ROI, but also fast ROI. That's another key thing is you don't want to wait five, six, 10 years like we used to with the big, huge shuttle systems and yes. things. People want ROI right away. So we're seeing that in months with our customers oh, with ROI. I love it. This next topic is maybe my favorite thing we're going to talk about here today. Um, because, you know, in a warehouse setting, uh, data shows us that people are, are beautiful human element in the warehouse can walk 10 to 15 miles a day. Yeah. Holy cow. But by better leveraging robotics, working alongside cobots, as the industry is starting to refer to uh, robotics as, we can reduce that down to two to three miles a day. Yeah. You know, so Kate, speak to us about how we can really empower our wonderful workforce to work safer, more productive, and make their days easier. Yeah. So safety and worker life balance is a huge thing for us. So what we've done with our Locust robots is we've removed the walking from the entire equation for workers. So you get to stay in a smaller zone. That's how you get the one to two miles and the robot and the work comes to you. So instead of you taking a big heavy cart, 
pushing it, pulling it, walking up and down the aisles, snaking, you know, all that good stuff, which leads to injuries and yeah. fatigue and all kinds of things. We use the robots to do that for them. And all you have to do is literally stand at a pick location. You can see that happening right over here. Um, pick location, you, the item is presented on an iPad, easy UI. You don't even have to think about it. You see the item, you pick the item, scan it, and the robot goes and does all the work for you. So it's pretty cool because especially with the next generation of warehouse workers and the yes. next generation of tech, all you have to learn how to do is interact with an iPad, which I think everybody knows how to do now, right? <laughs> no, more, no more scanning RF guns, you know, the whole Telnet systems that we used to use, all gone. <laughs> And that goes back to one of those early themes, workforce management. If we can change the nature of what it's like working in our warehouses and, and, and do what you're saying, making it easier, yeah. making it more productive, protecting that, that worker, uh, human worker work-life balance. I mean, goodness gracious, maybe it'll be a little bit easier recruiting yeah. and developing and retaining our workforce, huh? Absolutely, and we've we've just launched a new thing as part of Locus Intelligence, okay. which is system-directed labor, which tells the worker exactly what to do next, whether to follow the bot, um, and it helps them optimize the workforce. And if they don't follow the instruction, we get data on why they didn't. So it helps a training opportunity, but helps people not even have to worry about what they have to do next. Love it. Uh, get to the root cause. All right. So Locus Robotics now has, I think, 15,000 robots deployed around the world. Yep. I bet some of our, we got the smartest audience in all of the global supply chain. I bet their brain goes to where my brain is, cybersecurity. Give us a few thoughts about that. Absolutely. So at Locus, cybersecurity is one of our core tenants of our platform. So we are robots as a service, So which means uh, RAS. So everything is on the Locus One platform. So when our customers purchase robots and, and through the RAS system, right. it's all on Locus One platform. Our Locus One platform is so secure. We are constantly doing cybersecurity tests. We've never had a penetration um, issue at all. Um, and we are constantly monitoring for those threats. Actually, our head of cybersecurity is here today. Um, he is certified through the FBI, through all sorts of um, organizations. We have webinars and additional materials on that. We take cybersecurity very seriously because we know it's a huge issue because 10 minutes, five minutes, an hour down, two days down, that's a huge difference for our customers. And their data is key to their operations. So we do everything in our power to make sure that their data is secure and safe and in the right place for the right hands. Clearly a big priority, clearly a big area of massive investment from yeah. the Locus Robotics team. And that's how, I wish I wish the rest of the world would, would treat it the same way, right? Because uh, challenges are gonna get more complex and more numerous, but I appreciate you tackling that. All right, before I make sure that we get Kate to tell us how folks out there can connect. I got to ask you about this new project, this new podcast series that I'm excited about. I think you are too. Yeah. The F uh, Feminist Exec. Tell me more about it, Kate. So that's awesome that you asked. Thank you very much. Um, the Feminist Exec is a side project of mine. It's a cause that's very near and dear to my heart as a woman in the industry. Yeah. As you guys know, it's a typically a very male dominated industry. And so the Feminist Exec's objective is to sell, tell the stories of women who have taken career journeys um, into leadership, lessons in leadership, and how we can help bring our stories forward to inspire others, learn something, and just help bring other women forward, both for men, allies like you, and uh, women in the industry. Kate, I love it. I love it. And uh, we, we can find that wherever we get our podcasts from, Absolutely. Right? On Apple Podcasts and Spotify, you can also find it at feministexec.com. Love it. Okay. Kate, so much to talk with. I, had, I wish I had a few more hours with you, but for folks that do want to learn a lot more about what we've talked about here, which is just a tip of the iceberg, or want to talk other things uh, out in the industry with you, how can they connect with you in the Locus Robotics team? LocusRobotics.com or any social media channel. It's just that easy. Kate Peterson with Locus Robotics. Kate, thanks so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Great to see you. Good to see you. Folks, check out uh, Locus Robotics uh, and make sure you check out the Feminist Exec and whatever you do, stay tuned as we continue to interview the movers and shakers across the industry like Kate here and you can tune into all of that at Supply Chain Now over on YouTube.